The U.K. basketball team once again showed its will to win in their 81-75 overtime victory against Mississippi State. With two minutes and 45 seconds left in the game, the Cats were down seven. First, DeAndre Liggins knocked down the three. Then Eric Bledsoe gets a layup in transition. And Patrick Patterson tied it up with a baseline jumper that forced overtime. I'll tell you this, we were in every huddle. One thing I said to them, this is going to be a great comeback for television. But they kept saying, we're not losing this game. They were in the huddle saying it, we're not losing this game. They refused to lose. They just went after it, and they just refused to lose. They just said, we're not, it's not, we're winning this thing. Kentucky, that's why they're Kentucky. That's why, you know, they find ways to be whatever they are now, 25-1. and one. You know, Cal's done an unbelievable job just meshing those, meshing those personalities together. Staying in the SEC, Georgia was at Tennessee tonight. Five-point game late in the second half. Bobby Mays misses the layup, but Wayne Chisholm battling down low. Gets the follow to fall. Chisholm with 16 points. Georgia actually led for most of the game, but the Bulldogs couldn't hold on. Tennessee wins at 69-60. to Notre Dame at Louisville. We're tied in the second overtime when Jared Swapshire dials it up from distance. Cards up three, Swapshire with 12. Later on, cards down one. Jerry Smith gets free. Bottoms. Smith with five points. Samardo Samuels with a career-high 36 as Louisville wins a 91-89 thriller. One of the best in-state rivalries got renewed tonight. EKU visiting Moorhead State. The little colonel was in the house, and yes... He wears that sweater in public. On to the game, Justin Stummis gets in the lane and drops off the dime to Josh Daniel for the hoop and the harm. Daniel with five points. Jeff Neubauer drawing it up on the sideline. Kenneth Farid operating the give and go with his buddy Steve Peterson, who finishes at the rim. And then the Colonels leave the EKU killer all alone. May Stallworth buries the triple. Stallworth with 20 points. And next time down the floor, it's Peterson with the three ball corner pocket. Good. Peterson with 15, and the Eagles are cruising up 20 at the half. EKU kept fighting. Josh Taylor with three of his 21. Moorhead led by as many as 26 points. Eagles go on to win it 77-64. to Moorhead State sweeps the season series. In a matchup of two of the state's top 20 teams, Clark County got the best of Lafayette 83-69 to last Friday night. And as Dan Reefer shows us, they couldn't have done it without our high school highlight reel star of the week. Without Robbie Stenzel, one of Clark County's top contributors. We knew going in for a week or so that Robbie would be out. This has stuff up. Jalen Daniels stepped up with 20 points, 8 rebounds, and 3 assists to help lead the cards past Lafayette. I didn't know how many points I had or rebounds. I just knew that I just got my team involved and we just got the win. It just seems to be getting better and better and better, playing with a little bit of uh, a lot more confidence, a little bit of swagger to his game, where I think in the past he's had, uh, you know, confidence-wise he would make a mistake and it would domino into maybe two or three bad plays. The six foot six junior was charged with leading the Cards offense. It's my first time playing point. This is real hard because, you know, it's like you're the coach on the floor when you're playing out there and you don't want to commit too many turnovers, so you want to limit the turnovers and just get the ball where it needs to be and just make things happen. It's just improved so much with his ball handling. It plays with poise out there uh, running the one. After back-to-back losses to State Powers, Lexington Catholic, and Scott County, Clark County needed a win. It's real big. I mean, some guys, we was just down. We knew that there would be uh, that would definitely be some bumps in the road, and we had to make sure that we didn't overreact and get down on ourselves and lose confidence. Coach Scott Humphrey tailored this tough schedule to get his guys ready for a title run. You know, it's all just part of the process and uh, to get us ready for March. It makes us preparation for uh, Sweet 16. And the way Jalen Daniel has come along. Best basketball is still that thing this year, and then uh, obviously the future is uh, very bright for Jalen. Clark County could be cutting down the nets in Rupp. In Winchester, Dan Reed for ABC 36 Sports. Thank you, Dan. We'll be sure to vote for our High School Highlight Reel Game of the Week. To do so, just log on to our website at WTVQ.com. Back to Moorhead. Eagles looking for the alley-oop to Kenneth Farid. Off the mark, but Brandon Shingles is there to clean up the mess. Eagles win it. But this is our Jack Kane Ford Big Time Hop Play of the Day. 